Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Tucker Carlson Gaming Show. Our last episode on Zelda became a massive hit, and expectations are high. So buckle up for what's about to unveil right before you today. Now, I was out at the bar the other night, and let me tell you, dude, we were absolutely caked. Billy got drunk as fuck, bro, and it somehow ended up being an inspiration for what I'm about to present you. I don't think I could personally do it justice, so I'll let it speak for itself. What do you mean you're scared to talk to her, man? Uh, I don't know. Be I a just... man and get her number. I want it. Hey, girl, you like Cheerios? Ah, oh, shit. Now look what you did, bro. Absolutely embarrassing, you fucking... To be fair, I'm really fucking hungry, dude. Who doesn't like Cheerios? Oh shit, is that vanilla ice? What's up, bros? Yo, bro, I got a fucking, like, bro Tucker over here has tried to land a bitch with a game of Riz. Can you believe it? Oh, shut the fuck up, Billy. That never happened. Give the man a break. Bro, bro, no, he you needs know? to, like, uh... fucking... No, 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 but listen, listen, hey, let me talk. Uh, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta put yourself out there and march to the beat of your own drum, No, bro. no, no, but listen, listen. Shut up, you're drunk. Anyway, you gotta do what makes you happy, right? Take it from the man itself, I landed some bitch after freestyling over Diddy Kong racing. Bullshit! You don't believe me, I'll do it again right here, right now. And now, straight out of Dallas, we got motherfucking Vanilla Ice in the house tonight. Yo, 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 it's motherfucking Vanilla Ice in the house. Back with the motherfucking G's, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it on. Here it goes. Okay. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with the brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights, huh? And I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and whack a chump like a candle. Dance. Hey, what's wrong, Tucky boy? You need some water or something? Now, bro, I'm trying to kickstart my YouTube channel, and I don't know where to take it from here. Oh my god, dude, you should totally do Diddy Kong Racing next. You mean the N64 exclusive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, bro, it's such a good fucking game. Like, bro, it's great. It's like oxy-revolutionary, dude. Fair, so let me pull up eBay real quick. Ah, shit. $1,700? You get what you pay for, dude. My ass is $1,700. Holy shit, I'd have to sell my entire Yu-Gi-Oh stash, no thanks. I'll just lend you my copy, man. But rest assured, this is truly a one-in-a-lifetime experience. Appreciate it, bro. I just... What? Did you seriously pull out a copy of Diddy Kong Racing out of your pocket? Always think ahead, my guy. That's just... I just... Uh, okay, thanks, I guess. Quite a ride, in it. Now, we don't talk about my Riz, but what we do talk about is that here I am today, ready to pop that fucker in. Now, I've never personally owned this game, although I did use to play the multiplayer over at Fred Durst's house, given he was a huge gamer at the time. And all I can remember is people going, <laughs> Mario Kart sucks. And I'm like, fuck you, man, because we all know Nintendo laid the framework for this game to exist in the first place. Now, here we got the box. Motherfucker really just gave me a sealed copy. Holy shit. This is what it looks like in the front. Now you can see it has a four-player support, which is in line with Mario Kart 64 at the time, which is fine. The artwork shows Diddy flying around on a plane while his buddies mindlessly play catch-up with other vehicles, which is, I don't know, funny to me. Now on the back here, it says, it blends both adventure and racing elements to become a truly unique game. Sounds like an interesting concept. Like, bro, we didn't have Sonic All-Stars racing back in the day. We had to do with what we had. As for your cartridge itself, it's nothing special. Just a standard silver N64 cartridge. Gotta open that bitch up and see if there's any OxyCoke within it, am I right? Now you also got a manual, which seems to be a relic of a time long gone in the video game industry. Production costs, maybe? I don't fucking know, it ain't that deep. But what I do know is that it's widely regarded as one of the best games in the system, and one I apparently couldn't afford to miss. So without further ado, let's pop that fucker in and get to some good old racing. All right, let's see who to pick. Oh, they've got Banjo? Let's see who else. Holy crap, they've got fucking Conker in the game. You furry little bastard, how I've missed you, buddy. Ah, shit, it's already getting scary. I didn't sign up for this. Pfft. We're immediately bombarded by a lighthearted change of pace. What a nice touch. And who the fuck is this guy? What kind of business does a flying magical hippo of some sort have on my show? I am the genie of the island. 
Huh, that explains a lot. So anyway, so far the atmosphere is fun, the graphics are good, but what I really want to see is if it holds a candle against Mario Kart 64. Dino Domain. Oh, okay. It seems like we have an overworld hub going on, serving as a bridge between races. Kind of reminds me of Crash Team Racing on the PS1, although that came out at a later date. All right, the moment of truth, here we go. Ah, shit, not fucking Banjo next to me. I just fuck. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. First place, baby. Okay, okay, the drifting in this game is actually a shit missile hazard. So anyway, as I was saying, Conker actually feels pretty smooth to control. <laughs> Motherfuckers playing catch up. Still? I did it. I won. No gods or kings, only Tucker. Ooh, that was actually pretty fun. All right, what's next? Time trials? Okay, I actually tried it out, and uh, it ended up something like this. Gotta make that jump just right. Fuck! Fuck! The game is teasing me. I goddamn am facing the wrong way. Shut the fuck up. I'm stuck! Give me the key! No, no, give me the... Give me the fucking... Give me it! Give me it! I just fucked it. Now nah, fuck it, we're dropping at Fossil Canyon, boys. I don't even... Oh, oh, oh. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna... Ah, fuck. Yeah, fuck you too, Banjo Kapoopy. Banjo, I swear to God. <laughs> Take that, you little shit. Come on, come on, come on! Ah. ah, this is not fair, I keep missing all my shots. <laughs> Take that, you little shit. Seriously, do I even need to prove myself to anyone? I mean, like, fuck! Billy made a good choice with this one, let me tell ya. You know, I might actually just stay up playing this all night. But for the sake of the video, how about I let the highlights speak for themselves? Hello, friend. Select your vehicle. You talk to this weird magical hippo dude or some shit, and he lets you select other vehicles. Woo! I chose the airplane because machine go vroom! A lot of fun to be had with this bitch, let me tell you. And you get to race against a fucking dinosaur. What in the living fuck? But in conclusion, it truly is a magnificent game and it's rightly earned its spot amongst other titans of the genre, such as Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing. This is Tucker Carlson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.